It's no fun unless you go heavy on this. And breathe out on the lift. Now take it up and press and lift and press the elbows back as if they were going to touch. As you extend the leg, bring the foot under the hip, in line with the hip. Head is on the arm. Keep the head down on the ground so you have a nice straight line from your head to your toes. Welcome to our program. I'm Margaret Richard and we're going to be good and strong. But I think most of us will probably do it the intermediate way. So again, the wrist is right under your elbows. Keep the head back. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Square it off. Then the elbows with the abdomen. Take it back. Take a real good stretch. And squeeze and down. If you have a mirror handy, that would help you make sure that the knee is over the ankle in the bent position. And if you pay very careful attention to correct form, you'll always be able to exercise well. One more. See if you can lower the hips. Of course, in this exercise, the knees will come. Now, here's a variation, you can do it or not, which involves having the legs straight up. Put a little uh, squeeze on the ball so you're using all your muscles. Here's a variation for you. Let's have one, one leg up, one knee down, but the hips are square. All right, this is part, if we could package it, if only we could package it. This is the glorious part where you feel the fatigue. With a little more exertion. So you want to contract, contract, and release. Feel that 12 pounds of your head or so, 12 pounds or so on your fingertips. You know, it's like a Thanksgiving turkey, maybe. It's that heavy. So I like the exercises to be authentic and, uh, if I don't feel them, you're not going to do them. <laughs> Press back. 